hey 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 what's going on guys how we doing tonight if you guys are doing good what's up mark no what's up man how are you hope you guys are doing well let me go ahead and uh what's up b9 wonder good to see you guys as well brian what's up man carson good to see you man Minna Mayhem, what's up? Mike Pinnegrass, good to see you as well, man. Zach Hall, good to see you. 71, what's up, buddy? Trying to get Christmas gift lined up with my mom here. She's all texting and, oh, what do you want for Christmas? Ah, gotta go to work, mom, sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, that's a good song. That's a good little intro there. I'll have to remember that one. I don't know what else is in this playlist. And so we'll find out. What's up there, B9? Patrick, what's up, man? Josh Pulaski. How are you, man? What's up? Wolf, what's up? Fantastic Dragon, what's up, man? How are you doing? Big Jim, Triple Deuces, what's up, my bro? Good to see you guys a minute here, 15 seconds. If you uh, have not checked it out, go check out FullTailGaming.live. What's up there, C Simulations? How are you, man? Adam, what's up, buddy? A little something different tonight, man. A little uh, midweek hump day, uh, hump day here stream here on ETS. I've never been to Corsica. Never been to Corsica. So anyway, we're going to check it out tonight. And it is awesome. Like the guys that don't show up for this one, man, they are going to miss it because it's actually really, really, really good. So uh, what's up, Wolf? How are you, man? I'm good, man. Dead man, what's up, man? Thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. Good to see you, man. Netflix, what's up? Good to see you as well. Uh, again, Mr. Key, what's up, man? Miss up, Mr. Keyhook. Good to see you there. Wonder is, uh, what's up, man? Uh, Keyhook in the house. We got Anthony Blair in the house. Jake out. What's up, Anthony Ledge? Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Hashtag where's Doug? I don't know. Seems like every time we do one of these uh, Europe streams, he's never nowhere to be found. Maybe he'll show up, and then he'll ask we're in Romania. No, we're not in Romania. <laughs> we're on the other side. <laughs> Marius, what's up, man? Hope you're doing good. Have to let me know if y'all like the music or not. I'm going to turn it down here once we get going here. What's up, Modern Day Outlaw? Hello, hello. I'm good, man. PA Farmer, what's up? Hi, this is Nathan. Well, hello, Nathan. Good to see you there, buddy. What's up, Worldwide 007? How are you, man? He's wait he's waiting there. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you in Romania, man. Maybe one of these days you'll show up in Romania, you know. Missed you a couple weeks ago when you're a couple days ago when you're in there. No, hashtag not salty. 15 seconds, we'll be back, guys. Well, we are in the the old Scania. Let me get my uh, let me get my mouse pulled up here on uh, where'd it go? There she is. All right, go ahead and drag this across. What's up, Kyle? Good to see you there, Heather. What's up? What's up? What's up? D Come on, Nathan. Come on, bro. Come on, man. I hope that's just I wanted someone to talk to me comment. I'm not even going to answer that. Just look at the page, man. Look at the page. <laughs> look at the page. All right, let me uh, let me grab our pump track here. What's up there, Unit Twenty? What's up, man? It's going all right, man. Little little hump day week here. Uh, going through a little little music in the background. This truck's actually kind of loud, so I doubt we're going to need any. <laughs> no right wonder. What do you mean to us stream ADS? Really? I thought we were past this cordial hellos. <laughs> What's up, Chris Cargill, Mike007? What's up, man? <laughs> Hold on. Cut that mic just a little. Whoops, not that much. Let me go down a little bit. There we go. All right, let's try that and see what happens. All right, anyway, we are in Corsica. So this is the free DLC if you have Viva La France. This was something that ATS boys got um, as a part of their freebie. So this is like Mountain Road Central slash Island slash um, really awesome maps. I think you guys are actually really going to like this. It's kind of got a really... Uh, hmm. It's not dirt road, but it's definitely old school road, old mountain road, side roads. Um, you'll see a lot of really cool stuff, a lot of cool scenery. The towns in this thing are really awesome. They kind of got the real old school French coast feel, uh, which doesn't really equate to America, but still, it's uh, definitely not of this world. So anyway, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Uh, I've got a few things. I've got track IR. Um, I don't know if we'll see how much um, we actually use it, but it might be good for, you know, some inside close up dash work. That way you guys can still see. 
Uh, and then I've actually got it in the, um, I think I've got it in the other one too. Um, let's see. Yeah, we should have it here as well. I don't know if it'll work or not, but it might give you guys a sideline. Because I always notice I always leave this mirror out. You guys never actually get to see any of that stuff. So we'll see what we get here. Anthony, good to see you, man. Bud, what's up, man? Good to see Bud in the house. Cameron, good to see you, Bud. K and K, what's up, man? Good to see you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. This is uh, dude. I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. I, I, I've been in this a while, um, but. Definitely got the, uh... Alright, so y'all let me know if, if if I'm too loud, if I need to cut back some, or if I need to bring up the sound. Um, it's kind of hard to hear my ears, because my ear sounds are mixed differently than what you guys hear. So anyway, let's go ahead. We're in the Porto Vecchio. This has a very, uh... A very Italian frame to it. All right, so we got a uh, we got a quad axle trailer here. We got a yacht on top here, uh, so we're gonna be taking this yacht up to one of the shipyards there. And uh, yeah, let's see, we're I think we're actually going down south. Let's see. Yeah, so we're gonna go all the way around the corner, which is gonna be some sick roads. You guys are actually gonna like this. And then we're gonna actually go back down to the coast of Italy. Uh, I can't remember exactly the one that is. But anyway, that's where we'll be uh, we'll be ending at least this trip, and then we'll try to pick something up up here. So, yeah, no sense in seeing a steering wheel when you can see mine. Most people don't like the real steering wheel; they'd rather see the game steering wheel, which I completely find ridiculous. But you know. Each to their own. At the roundabout, take the second exit. What's up there? Shane could see you, man. Take the exit. Okay, we will take that exit. <laughs> What's, you need a little bit more there, Mike. Oh, don't y'all start now. <laughs> What's up, Spades? Good to see you, man. Let me fix this little uh, sensor there. There we go. What's up, Rich? Good to see you guys. All right, so once we get out of... Uh, I think this is neither Bonifacio or Nafico. Bonafico, maybe. I know, right, Triple Jim? <laughs> Take the egg. Hashtag where's Corsica? <laughs> yeah, that's where. That's where. Uh, that's where Doug went on vacation, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here starts our journey. So once we get through the next city, things should get a lot more spicy. They should. Yeah, dude, Ace France. In this part of France, this is a brand new DLC. So um, Viva La France came out, um, I want to say, a year and a half-ish ago. Um, it was like the first or second DLC that ETS rung out. They had the Going East package, uh, Viva La France, and then they had Scandinavian, then Italy, then Baltic, and then now Black Sea. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of really cool areas and this is one of the newest DLCs, uh, that you'll, uh, that you have. So if you have, uh, AT, I mean, ETS in the Viva La France, this is actually the new island that's just south of Marseille, which is on the, uh, southwestern coast of France. So, so it's pretty much like mountainside roads. So we'll, we'll go through a lot of different hills and, uh, there's nice horses over here. So it's kind of open down here on the bottom, and then once you get up to the top, man, it just starts getting crazy. So I'm like, yes, to do this. So I 
Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that's right, dude. That's right. That's right, man. Uh, I've been doing. I did a couple of rally vehicles, uh, rally races here in Corsica. You're right, man. I totally pew, straight over the head, bro. Well, if you get it rich, the you will have this. So around a little bit here on the back side here. White, what's up, man? Good to see you, man. So around here a little on the bottom half, and then we'll uh we'll get we'll get outside. You guys can see uh see over the edge edge of the cliffs. Hey, what's up there, frog man? Thank you there, frog. Appreciate that, buddy. Figure out how I'm gonna get this mic. There we go. Let's try that, man. My lord, that was loud. I might need to cut my uh, truck engines up a little bit, man. That was screaming loud. Might be, guys. I don't know why that one got so far off, man. Yeah, modern day. Well, I just did. Uh, I just did rally in Barcelona. I don't know if you saw that one, man, but I would say as of as a couple of days ago, I just did racing. American gaming dude, Bay FTG. Hey. <laughs> It's a good shot there over the uh, coast. You can see the water out there. So, of course, it's a pretty small island in most terms. But what's up, man? Thank you there, B9. Appreciate that, man. B9 coming through there, man, with a $20, man. $20 donation for B9 Bot. Thank you there, buddy. Appreciate that, man. So it's a heck of a way to get the stream started off there. Got away with words there, Mike. Not in a bad way. Hey, what's up there, Kona? All right, so here's, uh, we'll start to get into some cool stuff here. Kind of dev console through this place just to kind of see what's up, man. Let's see. Let's uh, let's do this. Whoop! Hello, hello. My goodness, man! Is my internet choking? So wild, man. Yeah, I don't think it was Wolf. I just looked up there, man, because I could tell my uh, my preview up there. Yeah, I'm I'm riding fine, buddy. That's the thing, man. I'm riding good. Uh, yeah, man. I'm excited for new trucks, dude always excited for new trucks yeah i must i must be trying to stream too heavy man stream too heavy on the uh bit rate man uh, yeah well it's 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 back and forth man that's what makes me it's uh definitely not frames and it'll clear up here in a second uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's got to be man because i'm playing i'm playing good man sucks man it's always like that stupid
let me, uh, just while I'm, uh, No, it's not the area on the map, Wolf. That's what I just said. So I'm playing fine. Um, I'm playing fine. I'm playing just regular old driving through. Um, it's probably the bit rate's too high. I moved that up in our last uh, live multiplayer um, stream. I changed a few things up. So, I mean, it's very possible that that's it. Um, it's frustrating, though. I might have to um, see if I can change it. I don't know. Next, I mean, if it goes in and out like that, it's typically not just graphics. Because usually, if you run graphics on ETS, it pretty much stays within the same 15 or 20. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe it is a steerable axle one, or will at least give me that, man. It's at least a steerable one. All right, let me, uh, this is getting on my nerves. You guys aren't going to see anything. I'm going to pull at least scaling and see if it. We'll release some of that, but I don't necessarily think it's this. Let me uh, pull the anti-aliasing off. Yeah, it could be, man. Um, it shouldn't be, but um, if my wife is uh, streaming something or if she is on the internet, it very well may possibly be depending on what she's doing. Hey, John Davies, thank you there for the sub, man. Appreciate that. Oh, nice. Nice, B9. Sweet, dude. I'll have to show that in stream there if you're all right with that. I think some people, American Gaming, dude, I think some people just come in there to dislike it. I have a few haters out there. Just a few. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. Things are somewhat leveling out there. Yeah, an upside down like. Yeah, that's what I'll call it. <laughs> Turn that like upside down. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one, Brian. I mean, it's uh. So this is the pack that we kind of uh, that well, it came out for ATS. Most people don't pull the the Euro truck, uh, the Euro truck trailers in ATS. But this is one of the Jazzy Cat packs. It's I mean they're awesome, man. A ton of loads, they run freight market, but his are ownable on the ATS side too, which is kind of nice. On the ETS side, sorry. That's really nice. At the roundabout, take the second exit. the 
Oh, watch out. There he is. Okay. No, he was back there. <laughs> Shoo. Good lordy. Gosh, man, I've taken all that stuff on Streamlabs out. <sighs> Took about two streams for the uh, for the uh, for the Ruda one to go away, and now it's taking a couple to get the RTA ones out of there. This truck is not an RTA truck, by the way. This one's on Steam Workshop. So if you're a fan of ETS, most of the stuff I ride is out of Steam Workshop because there's a lot of really good trucks on there. Wonder why the uh Are you gonna let me go? Alright. Well, that was weird, man. What's up there, Greg Coley? How are you, man? Yeah, Def always liked my flannel, didn't he? In a weird way. <laughs> uh, you don't benefit a bit, Mark. Neither do I. So if you want to drive, drive. If you don't, don't matter, man. There's no benefit to you unless you want to join the company and want to join the community. That's it. If you want to just drive by yourself, then you can do that by yourself, but... If you're looking for groups of guys to join with and do convoys with and do ETS versus ATS, I mean, whatever, that's why you join a company, man. Same way, you know, same reason you'd go online to play a game. If you don't want to go online to play with anybody, then don't go online. Simple as that. We're not, I don't make a big deal out of my company. Um, you know, people join it if they want to, if they want to hang out, if they want to have a good time, then that's what, uh, that's what it's there to do. And it works the best if you get in and actually plug into it and actually, um, you know, have conversation and talk with people, do convoys. Oh, copper trying to pull on the inside there. These ships in front of us. Am I giving anything away? No. Nah. All right, so I think we turn off here. And I think we're going to be on the Italy side, then we'll come up. Hopefully, we find something to come back up this way. And then we'll finish the circle around Corsica. So this is part of the uh, Italy DLC. So you guys get to actually see a little bit of both.
take the exit. Turn right. <laughs> Yeah, truck master. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. It is fun, dude. It's fun. It's a shame that 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 you know, it's people. It, it's such a shame that uh, you can always tell the salty people that come in here that want to see an ATS truck that I've been driving for eight months, um, and they see this and then they they kind of scoff at it, make fun of it. And I, I don't exactly know why, but um, once you get past that, man, uh, ETS is so much fun, man. Um, between yeah, the trucks, you get used to them. They're a whole different challenge. There's a lot of different styles. Most of the ETS trucks are all stronger than any of the ATS trucks. Um, I think, uh, I will say, neither five of the six, five of the five out of six are stronger than the two best on ATS. So, I mean, it's not like you're dealing with weak trucks, you know? Um, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's, just a, it's just a different, it's a different challenge. It's a good challenge, man. I you do if you get it, man. I think you'll really enjoy it, especially the online. That's what you got to get into, man. You got to get in Trucker's Trucker's MP, man. No, nah, Nathan, I don't play GTA Five. Yeah, well, that's all right, Keith. Eventually, I'll start taking in people out. Then I won't be able to enjoy any of it. Just... this, Yeah.
Now, well, thank you, man. It's all good, man. So funny, some of the most disrespectful people sometimes come in here, the guys that are begging to be moderators of the chat. Like, right there. That right there is why you don't get to be moderator. <laughs> yeah, I guess you will. All right. What's up, Chris? How are you, man? What's up, Jake Brown? How are you, man? Well, asking to be one for months, bud, and then coming in and then trying to pick up the streamer all stream long because he's not driving ETS. Yeah, it's a good way not to get it. It's a really good way not to get it. <laughs> you like it, Brian? I, I do too, man. <laughs> Tag salty boy. <laughs> yes, we got uh, about 80 kilometers here, which is about 40 miles uh, into our delivery. And then we'll probably head back up north. So I'm going to get back into Corsica. We drop this boat off down here. So we're in the South Island there off the Italian coast. Uh, I would tell you the island, but I forgot it. Uh, but then we'll uh, we'll head back up north and hit on the other side of the island. So hopefully we can do uh, just a small loop around Corsica. Um, we already did the, the bottom half, so maybe we can tie up the top half there on this next load. Hopefully. We'll see. All right, David. Merry Christmas to you, man. Matt Kelly, what's up, man? Yeah, rolling some ETS. I know, man. Yes. Thank you, the ghost. Sardinia. Thank you, man. And I was sitting here thinking, I'm... no, that's not it. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. <laughs> well, yeah, there we go. Sardinia. That's the one. So, all right, Mike. All right, man. Is you, all right. I have to figure out how to say your name wrong. Pendergross. <laughs> At the roundabout, take the second exit. Um, you so, well, yeah. sometimes Mark, it depends on if the developers, uh, with ETS or with someone like ProMods decides to add on to those roads, which does happen periodically. 
Um, so I would say yes at some point, sometimes they do. Uh, but typically, it's kind of where they've kind of stopped the map. So you're not normally going to get anything after, after that. Continue straight. Use the right lane. Come on, car. Nightwing, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Hope you're doing well. Continue straight. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. Well, at least we actually get to take this to a boatyard. Oh man, thank you there, PA farmers. <laughs> That's a good one there, man. Just finished recording for the year. Been watching from the combine. I hear you, dude. Well, thank you, man. Thank you there for watching from the combine as you're out doing real work. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. <laughs> All right. There you go. Big old kapow. Hey, what's up there, Cruiser? How are you, man? Hope you're doing all right. All right, there we go.
All right, let's see if we can find something headed back up. Uh... <clears throat> All right, so let's see if we go back up to. Hey, Big Jim. I don't know why this stuff is so loud. I wonder. I wonder if I turned uh, down these main audio sounds. Whew. Woo! Thank you, there, Big Jim. Triple deuces, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Woo! I can hear that one coming to my ears. So if anybody's got, uh, <laughs> if anybody's got, uh, um, let's work out. Uh, maybe we can go. Let's see if we can get up there. If not, we might have to just take us a, a roundabout. Oh, there you go. Bo Bath. Thank you there, man. Appreciate that. Hi from Australia. What's up, man? Well, hey, dude, from Australia. Uh, make sure you catch our last, uh, live stream there. Uh, we did, uh, we did some, uh, uh, we did some Aussie trucks there, man. We did the Western Star 4800. A little shout out there to my Aussie friends. All right, let's go. Let's take the Caterpillar. Let's take the TH514C. We'll take it up here. Maybe we'll we'll just go ahead and go up to Bastia uh, or Bastia. We'll go on ahead and go up to the top there. Uh, and that'll pretty much get us most of this, except for the main cut right down the middle. Um, but yeah, that should be... We'll kind of come in where we left off and then keep going north. And then maybe we'll end up there. And, uh, and maybe we'll, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. That'll be all right. All right, let's see. Go ahead and do a quick pickup here. So that way we can make it uh, make it daylight. Not unless I was one minute. Did I miss it? Oh, okay. We're way back over here. Man, that's a long pickup joint. All right, let's see where they got us going. Oh, good gravy. Way out here. <laughs> All right. I see their monitoring. What's up there, Matt? How are you, pal? Hope you're doing good, man. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to make it some daylight here. Let's see. There we go. Hey, look at there. What's up there, Double? How are you, man? Hope you're doing good, man. Service announcement: This is not the uh, RTA RTA truck. They don't have a uh, they don't have an old Scania four like this. <laughs> Recovering from back surgery. Dang, dude. Well, hope things are going, uh, hope things went well with your surgery. 
Speaking of which, I don't know that I heard from Andrew. Now, Andrew was going in for, uh, I think he was going in for some type of a back surgery as well. Need to touch base with him on Twitter and see if he's, uh, see how he's doing. Yeah, this is RJL Scania with the, uh, like the Scania 4 add-on. So it adds this, the Scania 4 interiors and the exterior, uh, to this one and the, um, God, what's the other one? The T-Series. And the R, the S, and the T-Series. They get some fuel, too. Ah, good, man. What's up there, Raj? How are you, man? I'm oh, good, man. In 200 meters, yeah, J Cat, we could be get, we could be getting low, man. <laughs> well, we'll stop at the next fuel stop. Turn left. We'll head right back up north and continue our trip up through Corsica. So if you guys have Viva La France, if you're seeing this, it's a, a free addition to the DLC that came out. So it's uh, if you do have it, it's worth coming down here and taking a look at it. So we're in Italy right now, uh, but we'll be going back up to Corsica here, Corsica here uh, once we get back to our main plot. But I figured, you know what, we'll drive on some dirt road here. It's kind of cool. Uh, whenever I make some time for it, J-Cap. Uh, we're actually kind of figuring out exactly what we're going to do, how we're going to start. Um, this weekend is going to be crazy because I've got a lot of my Christmas parties and et cetera, et cetera, going on this week. So um, I, you know, kind of elected to want to start it whenever I could kind of start it and then get in it and not stop. Um, I'd hate to do a few things and then all of a sudden you guys not see anything for another week or so. Because um, we've also got the truck coming out with ET, uh, ATS, you know, the um, International is going to be coming out they're uh, I think live streaming it Thursday um, so I would venture to say either that Thursday afternoon they'll release or they'll release it Tuesday of the next week that's my guess they might not but that's my guess I mean, I will say this, to be fair, I'm not a big fan of the International Lone Star. Uh, it's just something about that front end. It just doesn't really sit with me. Like, I mean, I guess in some configurations, it looks all right. Um, I just hope it sounds good. And I was pretty impressed with the interior. Uh, the interior looked really good. So um, I will give them that on that. It, it, the interior was looked really good. So hopefully the rest of the truck sounds good. It looks good on the outside in game. I'm sure there'll be some pretty cool mods and stuff that'll work with it and people will do something with it. Um, but obviously multiplayer, I just want a new truck on the multi multiplayer scene uh, that I can drive that sounds good that I don't need sound mods to do something with. Hopefully, we, 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 we can hope guys, we can hope. Yeah, I've seen a couple, man. It's on the interstate riding through. Um, they're they're they look a lot better in real life than they do in in the game. I, I mean, not not that anything's wrong with it, Matt. Uh, yeah, donations should be up, man. Um, I've got Streamlabs there, Full Tilt Gaming Live. You guys can make uh, any kind of donations through Streamlabs. It's always a little better than Super Chats, um, but uh, right. just because of the fees, YouTube takes out 30%, and I think Streamlabs takes out like a dollar or something. So, yeah, it's a pretty big jump. Turn right. Got to gotta pay for that platform somehow. <laughs> Right, so I got a link down in the description there, Full Tilt Gaming Live. That you can do nice do donations from that window. But honestly, man, whatever you want to do is fine with me. Some people like the extra shout out in super chats, which is fine too, man. Nick, what's up? Um 
<laughs> Get him, let me look in. <laughs> Build and drive the Lone Star. Yeah, I guess we could do that. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what kind of options are on on it. I hope I hope it's got a little bit of customization to it. It's not gonna have a lot. I'd maybe expect something like what you get with the fleets. You get a couple different cab variations. You'll get a mid-size, a full-size, a day cab. Maybe a couple different axles, but you're not getting any kind of stretched or anything like real custom. You know, it's all going to be kind of geared towards that fleet. Real standard, um, kind of a, kind of that all-in-all, all-around truck. You know, that's kind of what it'll be. Thank you there, bud. Appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah, man. Well, good luck on y'all's guys' surgeries and stuff. I see there, PA. Thank you there to uh, PA Farmer as well. Five dollars super chat from the from the confounds of his uh, his combine. <laughs> Doing his last bit of corn. Appreciate it, man. Good to see you, and we'll see you on the next one, hopefully. And I like ETS, man, when you get out in the cruise, man. The cruise is nice. I like the cities, too, because it's just a lot going on. But the cities are, I mean, the uh, when you get out in that country, man, you can kind of let it roll. Runs really good. Yeah, I don't know what they'll do, Nick. Um, they, they might. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I would definitely look for them to have what they have now. Um... I don't know if they've got any kind of agreements with any other engine manufacturers, which will be interesting. <laughs> That's funny, Nick. It got you because of Cummins. That's why it got you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I thought you were making a wordy dirt. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Yeah, it, it catches a lot of things. That's why I like put it on a second timeout. You know, a funny little message, you know. <laughs> Streamlabs ain't the only salty one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> An old Speedy Gonzalez here. There we go. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one there, but that's a good one, Bo. <laughs> yeah, it's a little sensitive. What's going on here, J-Camp? Doing them in? This is a good one, man. I guess I can show you guys some outside, right? How the front looks like. Not the, uh, the old school Scania. Um, and not the old school uh, paint job on it. it. does have the Scania tuna pack, which is an extra side on add on pack there jay simpson thank you there jay for spot for a sponsor for subbing man appreciate it and it's not a bad looking load and trailer as well that's the uh, one from jazzy cat we were doing that one uh, on ats the other night Yeah, man. 
Now I got a few I got a few nice little add-on mods from the workshop for this one. It does help at night. It doesn't look that great on stream and it seems to wash out most of the rest of it, but it's still uh still pretty slick. I like it, man. Dwayne, what's up, man? I am having a good one, buddy. I hope you're having a good one. I need to get back too, man. I, I, I was actually writing you a, a message back um, to your earlier question during your DM. Uh, I don't know that I ever hit enter. So, mm, so I need to go back and check that. Um, the answer is yes. Um, and all the other thing that I need is, is whenever we, uh, <laughs> whenever we get the people lined up. How about that? Whenever that happens, especially with Lone Star coming out. If you want to do some asking around to our regulars, then feel free to do it. <laughs> yeah, if I get my game started back up on Farm Sim, I'll be able to run it there, bud. <laughs> you know, because it is simulation. Use the left lane. And you know, because I did it in the video game means I can do it in real life, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we'll stay here. All right, let's see how much we got here. So I know we got... All right, so I was about to say, we're fixing to hit our port down here. I agree, man. <laughs> it's good to see Bud the dongle again, man. Oh, nice there, Mr. Victor. Good, man. You like it? Uh-oh. Special transport on ETS is pretty good, man. Heck, man. I think I really need the... Uh... No, what, what do I what keep doing here? Okay. Oh, I was trying to start off in... Uh, no wonder. Good grief. Trying to start off in fourth gear. No wonder. Hey, what's up there, Brady? Good man. Hope you're doing well, man. Continue straight. All right, Key. Have a good, buddy. Yeah, I like the uh, special transport in ETS, man, because it's like super challenging. Because the uh, they don't really give you too much room, even with the uh, even with the the trucks to you know push people out of the way. There's still some areas, man, where it is tight. I mean, tight, tight, tight. And I know they do go around and actually route it out to where, you know, you're in a, a decent spot. At the roundabout, take the second exit. <laughs> Why you say that? Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, I know, man. That's, I know, that's it. That's what makes this so challenging, man. see that now i didn't see that one <laughs> yeah she was immediately made to uh to to not to not play it it was immediate <laughs> at the roundabout take the second exit she came in there and was like she was like nope nope take nope <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh so nick here here's how the, here's how the skinny works in uh in ets so roundabouts have completely replaced stoplights 
so you don't have to go through stoplights anymore so that's really the same as if someone come up and said dad gum man that's like the tenth stoplight in the middle of salt lake city uh, and it's the same thing so the basically roundabouts just keep traffic moving and have completely eradicated <laughs> the stoplight so that, that's why there's a lot of roundabouts in europe man they just decide to spend money on their infrastructure and we don't we just rather use a stoplight to stop traffic here to give us the false sense that you know traffic is actually moving and we're not backing up at the next stoplight <laughs> <sighs> All right, so we're going back to Corsica. So we just uh, hopped down into uh, into a little bit of the Italy DLC. So now we're get out of that. We're back up in Corsica, which is the free one for Viva Levant. So if you have France, um, then uh, then this is free to you if you update the game. If you haven't played it in a while, it's a new free area added on to the, to the DLC. So that's pretty cool. Curtis, what's up, buddy? Right. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that. <laughs> All right, so get up here, then we'll cut a left, and we should head back north. Well, yeah, Brady. Well, anytime, man. Uh, you know, Truckers MP. All the all the videos and stuff up are on Google, man. It's it's super easy. Just follow them step by step. Um, and then all of our information is in the Discord. So if you guys want to either do ETS convoys, you want to do ATS convoys. Anybody's free to join those things. They're not just company things. Anybody can join them. You don't have to be in a room. You just need to know where we're at, where we're going, and be able to fall in line. Um, other than that, man, it's it's fun, man. It's a good time. Uh, yeah, what's up there, BD? It's good, man. Um, I mean, I like it, dude. I mean, it's very comparable to uh, the quality, man, of uh, Black Sea. I mean, these little coastal uh, coastal areas, man, are awesome, and it's got a really cool interior. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it like a mountain road, but it's um, I would categorize it as similar to the Mexico and the Mexico DLC, um, not DLC, but the uh, Mexico map from Viva Viva Mexico. Oh, and the box clipped the pole. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't like the wide loads one. I don't mind any of the rest of them as long as they're not wide load. And because it's 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 almost too hard in some of the cases in ETS when the traffic's not when the traffic's around you, it's super tough. Um, and I know they've they've made it on to only go on certain routes that you can actually feasibly do. But sometimes, man, the traffic just gets right up in the way. Man, there's nothing you can do. And if you def console anywhere, like, uh oh. If you dev console anywhere, like it totally screws you up, man. The perfect pizza, a grandma's pizza. It's a little bit of sauce, good layer of cheese, good thick crust, cooked in a square. It's kind of like an Italian deep dish. Not quite Chicago, not that deep. Like a half deep. A half Chicagoan. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and I'll, uh, we'll, uh, See how long I can last. Take 
Game on, John. What's up, man? Uh, here's a question ATS or ETS. I like them both, man. Um, you don't have to just pick one or the other. You can like them both. We should be okay. Oh, man. It's got to be all these trees, dude. Uh, for Cummins. That's automatic. I don't put it in there. It's just automatic. It, it, it saw the first the first prefix to that uh possible buy, buy the cb without a button box um so so bo you can buy cb um but you have to have some type of a converter to get the con to get the conversion over for the audio so you you still might be able to to roll uh a cb but you're not going to be able to like you're not going to be able to you know not gonna be able to do anything with it it doesn't necessarily just work like a microphone so you'd have to google and see if there is a uh like an audio like a transfer that it would get it from a cb over down to a usb or to a microphone input because um, it doesn't work out of the box because of the the three or four pin connection so yeah it won't do moderators moderators could put it in there uh, pepperoni, that's about it, man. I like ground beef. Pepperoni and ground beef's about it. I don't really like anything else. Yeah, well, you just, thing is, you gotta, you gotta slow it down before you get there. Getting pretty low on fuel. Oh, you know what we can do? Let's see, wait a minute. Let me see what this does. Oh, it's gonna do it at two. All right, we'll do. We'll we'll put the emergency refill. We'll try that, man. Hey, Cody. Yes, sir. This is uh, we're we are in Corsica right now. We're on the uh, we're on the northwest side. So we're gonna go all the way up to Bastia at the very top. Oh, does Southern Trucker make one? I know he does all the gear shift. I didn't know he did. Uh, I didn't know he did that. Well, then there you go. <clears throat> if you got the CB, then his uh, his attachment might work. Then Google Southern Trucker there. Uh, is this truck more aerodynamic? No. So the reason why these trucks are the way they are, man, um, is um, is is because of the the streets over here. So they've adapted a very clean running, but also very adaptive uh, truck, uh, very nimble. Um, most of Europe, I mean, I've been over here like three times now, and most of Europe is very tight. It's not very wide. You don't have a lot of space. So if you plan on getting any, any of the goods into most of the cities, uh, you're going to need a truck that's got a heck of a turning radius and trailers also where you can actually get into places. So that's why they shove the wheels so far up underneath uh, the middle of the trailer. That's why they don't hang them out. And for whatever reason, we in America just decided that we liked the fact that we could stretch a cab out and have a 53 foot trailer and stick the wheels literally on the rear bumper. I don't know why it makes it really hard to drive. Um, I guess it's more of a custom look, but over here they can't do that. Um, if you look at ETS as a really good representation of how tight the cities are, um, how tight the roadways are, a lot of them in the old school Europe. Uh, especially in Germany and uh, the uh, east coast of France, um, the southern parts of Germany on the on the western side, a lot of them are still cobblestone. They're not even asphalted. So if you go in the old sections of the city, 
um, there's still cobblestone. So there's no way you could take a 389 through there. It wouldn't have the turner radius to make the first turn. So um, most of everything is a little bit more moderate. The cars are moderate. The trucks are more moderate. Buses are more moderate. Um, and everything runs a whole lot cleaner over here. So, so there you go. There, there's your 101 there. Well, I have to stick my nose out here so these guys will stop. Mm, cute. I can do all three, Nick. Just join in with everybody else. At the roundabout, pick the first exit. Pick the exit. What's up there, C-Pain? Continue straight. That gun. We'll see if we can. Know if it'll let me do it here. Let's see if we can swing out here. We're gonna go on up to Bastia, but navigation resumed. Hey, what's up there, Ethan? We are Scania 4 Series. We are driving everything that nobody wants to see. Uh, how cold was it? Uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad right now. We kind of got out of our cold snap last week. It was raining. Raining and freezing. All right, let's head on up to the north side. Well, it is a full moon, so my wife said everybody's on their man period, so I guess that's... Uh... Oh, Jay Simpson, man. I totally miss you, bro. Totally miss you, man. Thank you there, Jay. Yeah, so maybe that's what's wrong with chat, Nick. I like how a truck from the, oh, we're going to pull an illegal Yui here, but we don't have any choice. Negative 18. What? Tiny killer. What's up, man? Hey, you know what's crazy, Nick? Continue straight. You know what's crazy, Nick? Hey, Nick, I want you to get on Twitter, man, and I want you to look at how many views I got on Twitter for my rally video with 500 followers. You do that for me. I'm gonna see what it. I'm see what it's what it's up to now. Yes. 
I, I don't I don't want to get I don't want to get oh, chirped yeah. at and uh well thank you thank you Nick Carson appreciate it man oh, I'm talking to Nick T too by the way Nick Carson <laughs> don't be like uh <laughs> what am I supposed to do <laughs> the other Nick sorry <laughs> 2,000. All right, go tell me how many videos I have on YouTube with 35,000 subscribers. I had 500 followers on YouTube. I mean, on Twitter. Don't even have 500 followers. I got 2,000 views on that video. Got retweeted by Thrustmaster. And how many views do I have on my YouTube channel with over 35,000 subscribers? Just curious. Just curious, man. Yeah. Got retweeted out by Thrustmaster and everything. Seven sixty five. 765, 754, whatever it says. That's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> well, the way that just reads out, just, uh, whoo, all right. <laughs> all right, let's, uh,. <laughs> Well, let me let me go on and put this up here. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna go grab this garage. Is what we're going to go do. All right, let's let's go grab a garage. There's probably still a few guys. I have no idea. Oh yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Let your let your trucks are coming, man. It's gonna be illegal to get get in your grandpa's Peter and drive it. All right. Hey, it feels good. Yeah, it feels good, man. I'd drive it. I mean, I wouldn't care. I'll drive any of the ETS stuff, even though people hate it and they've been pretty much rude and been a jerk most of the string. You know. And they wonder why creators don't want to do the games they want to do. Hmm, I don't know why. Why can't I be a moderator? Hmm, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty. Look at there. It's not just desert and flatlands. <laughs> it's very pretty with mountains and rock work for their pull arounds for take a picture or a selfie by the coastline. Maybe there's a French cappuccino cafe up the street. It's very nice. Uh, yeah, you can't use that because uh, most of the ETS countries don't accept doubles. Uh, Germany does. Uh, Finland, Sweden, Norway do, I think. And as for doubles, I don't think you can drive them anywhere else. You can pull them. You can pull them anywhere you want to. Um, but I don't think you can. I think maybe the Latvian ones. Maybe they can accept it. I don't think the UK can. I don't think Ireland can if you're doing pro mods. So... Yeah, so if you're doing doubles, pretty much locked to the Scandinavian DLC as well as Germany. And I think that one's like, depending on where you are in Germany, but it doesn't matter. So, well, the free DLC, this has been out since 136. I've just never driven in it. So, um, so we, uh, you know, I was like, man, I need to go see Corsica. And then I got up here and I was like, dude, this is so flipping nice. Chattel really liked this. Roundabout. 
but it's totally free so if you've got viva la france then it is totally free Take the egg. yeah that that would be an absolute that would be a uh that that would that would be an absolute uh disaster to stream a scania truck on uh, an ats live stream that would be pitiful oh oh it is my internet i bet somebody's watching something see it dipping down into the yellow <sighs> I wonder who that could be sorry yeah well it's uh, well it's fixing to you'll see it it's getting real choppy I'm still in 60 but it's I can see my connection bar on Streamlabs man it keeps dipping down into the yellow so it can't push out the stream as fast as I'm sending it to it my bit rate's a little too high, I think. I needed to pull it back just a hair for um, for this, because it seems to be whenever I get in a, I start using a lot of CPU and GPU, like it's pushing all of that at a higher bit rate, and then it, it's pushing it, but I don't know, sometimes my internet's just not fast enough to push it all through, so um, that's, that's partially why. Uh, yes, that probably is Kona, because I, you know, I'm looking at my connection now, and it keeps diving down into the yellow and coming back up, so I don't know that there's necessarily much I can I can do to change that right now. Uh, I, I don't know when the next DLC is coming out. We that's the see that's the problem, and this is not a not a cut on you, Big Dub, but that's the problem. Um, we we kind of had a lengthy discussion about this on the last ATS live stream, um, and part of the problem is that um, as soon as Utah comes out, we start asking when the next one's coming out, and so we're never really appreciative of what we had to begin with. Um, and so even even ETS will be the same way. People are already, well, I wonder what the next DLC is going to be. Well, I wonder what this is going to be. And, you know, we just, we kind of kind of gloss over Utah. Um, and then the and for whatever reason, we just, we all automatically kind of go to what's going to be the next thing. Yeah, well, I don't know how y'all are looking good, to be honest with you. I mean, it's fine. It, it keeps going down from like 60 to 48 and back up to 60 and stuff, but at least my screen looks like I've got a little stutter, but yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, same way you do for ATS. Um, and really, all you need to do is... Um, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I hope my internet's going to hold out. Um, <clears throat> I guess on these nights, I'll just need to, I'll need to pull it back a little bit on my bit rate. Uh, last stream I jacked it up a little bit about 1500 bits and that may have been a little too much for tonight so <laughs> I didn't stream at 2k <laughs> at the roundabout take the third exit take the exit Well, it might it might upscale it, but it's I'm not streaming. You're not seeing it in true 4K. You're seeing your TVs trying to fill in, it's trying to fill in the dots. At the roundabout, take the first exit. I get what you're saying though. Take the exit. Could be. Yeah, it's a little annoying. It's a little annoying. I mean, I'm surprised that any truck driver is going to come in and watch a simulation truck driver drive. Like, that just blows my mind. I mean, it's fine if you do. It's just, like, totally... I, like, I, you know, if I... Like, if I go out and make a farmhouse table, 
I don't want to go watch another guy make a table. Like, after I'm done with it, I'm done with it. I want to go do something else. And I don't know, farming. Um, I think farming. What else did you say, Nick? Uh, ETS. ATS. Um, all bring guys that actually do that all day long for a job and do it hard. They come in and then they do it on a simulator for like hours. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. It's fine if you do. It's just like I don't I that's like I don't even understand it. Alright, let's see. Here's our uh garage. We <laughs> go do gold rush. We can go go back to ATS. Uh what? What do you mean does gold rush stream? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, we've been doing this long enough that that's pretty much how it rolls. <laughs> pretty much how it rolls. All right, well, uh, sorry the internet, um, as long as I'm not doing anything, it's okay. Um, but sorry the internet just wasn't, uh, oh yeah, we dropped quite a few frames in there. All right, well, I'll, um, I think, I think what I'll do, yeah, we'll pull that back a little bit. Hopefully, um, hopefully on the next one it won't be won't be so bad. Um, it's kind of sad because it's really pretty up through there, and it actually really performs pretty well. So, um, but anyway, yeah, Roblox. We'll do that after Fortnite, Nick. We, I got to get you into Fortnite and teach you how to build imaginary walls within like half a second. So, <laughs> I messed up the live. I, I miss I miss everything you said about my question. What was your question? Uh, I don't even remember what your question was, man. <laughs> you would love to do a school bus if? Well, there's probably one out there for it. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, <laughs> it probably exists out there somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't know, Victor. Uh, lumberjack, yeah, I like I like my I like my lumberjack flannel. I like it. It was a little chilly in here, but then it got hot. But anyway, all right, well, that's going to be it for me. So we are going to, um, we're going to get some work on some other stuff. Um, so anyway, I think, um, trying to think Friday and Saturday is going to be if he's just going to let you guys know. Um, so I'm going to try if possible to stream tomorrow. Um, and don't know, probably we'll, I don't, I'll figure something to stream more. Um, and then Friday and Saturday, I might be out. So maybe no convoy, but look in the discord. I'll try to put some announcement, maybe in the community post, and also for all of the members for the month of Christmas, I'm gonna give you guys a little Christmas gift. So um, if you want to, uh, uh, I know if you want to buy any more stuff out of the uh, store, you want to do anything, I'm gonna run like a, a whole week, a week leading up to Christmas here. Um, so we'll lead to like a Christmas kind of sale for everybody on the channel. So you guys will get a little, a little something off of the merchandise, that kind of stuff um, as well. And before I go, I had to uh, do a little shout out here. So. Um, Let's see. Let me let me pull it up here. Where was that out of? Is that out of Discord? I think it was. Yes. So uh, so yeah, Nick, you're in there. So Nick designed a FTG build, a comprehensive truck build, build and drive shirt, and uh, Mr. B9 bot picked one of those bad boys up. So uh, he got the uh, what you get the Peterbilt one, or did you get the Kenworth one? Oh, I think he got the Kenny. I think he did. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, Nick custom designed that from scratch, man. So we had the 3d prints and then he put all the other lines and all the blueprint stuff around there. So, um, so yeah, man, so there it is. I know, man, <laughs> we're good. B9. I'm glad you like it, man. Wear it proud. Wear it loud. <laughs> okay. That was a reference to something else, but anyway, <clears throat> anyway, you guys have a great one, man. Uh, and I will see y'all here hopefully in the next live stream. Hopefully it'll be tomorrow night. Uh, but anyway, check uh, there on this. I'll uh, at least have it up and scheduled. So if it's scheduled up, then that means I am going live. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Peace.